Hi, this is Handsome Max Zero, and you're listening to the sexiest podcast, Wrestling with Entertainment. Oh, well, sorry, everybody. This is the frat star, Dante Drago, and you are listening to Premier Wrestling Podcast, Wrestling with Entertainment. The party's just getting started, guys. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show with Wrestling with Entertainment. The only audio experience on the web today, interviewing all your favorite wrestlers every Tuesday and Wednesday, and previewing and reviewing the latest shows from WWE, AEW, New Japan, and everything in between every Saturday. On YouTube and Chatspot, sponsored by Rogue Energy and Player One Coffee. I am, of course, your host, that guy, James J. Alongside Kaliko Yatsu, may or may not be here, I don't think he's here. Um, maybe he is here and I don't even know it. Um, but who is here? The American Scooter Das. Being the new Power Bottoms. And it was a good week for Wrestling Wit, a wit as we um, interviewed um, Handsome Max Zero. In one of our most interesting and unique chats, more what's the let's be honest, the most random things we've talked we talked about in that interview. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, um the last shave and unicorn. And I don't think I'll ever forget that. Yeah, it, it, it's it's funny because a few days ago the the movie the last unicorn was actually on TV and I actually watched it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have no idea what we're talking about, please go back into the archives, take a listen to the handsome Max Zero interview, and you will be uh, in- delightfully informed. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we interviewed uh, the fat star, Dante Drago. Um, you know, Dante's coming up, and, uh, you know, he's done the tag team, tag team yeah. thing, and now it's time to do, uh, the singles oh. thing, and I think, uh, it's only up from here, from here for Dante, what do you think? You know? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and, uh, little interesting tidbit, uh, of course, the third on the remix, Ryan Dust, uh, Wanted to interview Dante, uh, but on the day he wanted to, Dante said he had an audio experience uh, <laughs> to uh, to attend, and Ryan said, "Ah, you're being interviewed by James and Scooter, aren't you?" He's like. <laughs> How did you know? And he's like, I have powers. <laughs> but he, yeah, he's uh, he he will be on an upcoming uh, dusting off the ropes soon. Uh, hopefully, he'll cover uh, stuff we didn't ask. Oh, for sure, and we asked. Uh, we covered a lot. Um, you know. Uh, uh, being in the ring with Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, anime, um, some uh. some career highlights, and so much more. Paddling. Uh, huh? Paddling. Paddling, yes. And, uh, yeah, we beat an, uh, we be- beat an 18 year old for a, uh, interview. What's a little high five, you know? Yeah. Take that, Godson! <laughs> uh, and this upcoming Tuesday, we have uh, Victor Pritchard of Gemini Sports Card um, and LA Fan Fest. Um, if you don't know what LA Fan Fest is, um, go to Gemini Sports Card at .com. Um, they'll bring you a lot of. Um, Fantastic superstars for autograph signings, including Paige, uh, Julia Hart, Diamond Dallas Page, 
uh, and so many more um, on Saturday this coming forward. Um, go check that out, and obviously go check out the interview when it drops this Tuesday. Uh, more news on who will be interviewed on Wednesday. All right, uh, I think uh, we're done getting ourselves over for the moment. That being said, it's a great day for wrestling, because we are wrestling with the news. Um, there was uh, a meeting, uh, a mandated meeting with Tony Khan and the rest of the vice presidents not too long ago before the, the incident with TM Punk. Uh, and for the most part, it was fine until Kenny Omega started mm-hmm. talking and said, I want to hire 80% of you. Um, it's like eight, eight or nine. There's eight or nine guys here that I wouldn't have hired. Something like that. And, uh, apparently it was, and it's this is if you believe Dave Meltzer, yeah, of course you do. Uh, it was a joke directed at Will Osprey, um, trying to tongue in cheek, I suppose. But the thing that didn't make sense to me was, why the fuck was Will Osprey in an AEW meeting? Uh, to quote Bianca Belair, he doesn't even go down. Scooter? I mean, uh, I mean, I guess he can't help it if he has a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. Oh shit! Wrong movie. Um, how the hell are we supposed to know that's a dig at Will Ospreay? And do we even believe that Will Ospreay was there, or well, is? You know, the Uncle Dave protecting his boys. I mean, clearly, Uncle Dave is uh, uh, protecting his boys, but I, I can't imagine. Kenny Omega having said that, and it not being true. Well, I mean, eighty percent of the people he hired got fired by Tony Khan in the last year or so. Well, I mean, I mean, yes, he's a vice president, but does Kenny Omega have the right to hire people? Not that I'm aware of. So, uh, I mean, context is everything. And in this business, if there's anything you say that can be twisted, it will. The, yeah, the only time it really doesn't get twisted is when it's true. And I I have my own interpretation of why Kenny made that exact remark, or even if he made that remark... He did, he definitely said it. It's confirmed that he said it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I would bet that it's him voicing his, uh, the, not disgust, but, uh, him being dissatisfied with such a bloated roster. I mean, who is the, who's the Kenny Omega guy? I mean, oh, not Rio. What's her name? Rio? 
Rio is a her, her, girl. Yeah, her I name is Rio, Rio, and she dances on the sand. Well, uh, ah. she's the Kenny Omega signing for sure. I mean, Joey Janela, Sonny Kiss. <laughs> Who else was um, oh. the Bucks and Kenny Cow? Uh, was stunt? I mean, can can you can you say Adam Page and is part of that camp? Uh, can you say Jay uh, Jay White? Jay, Jay White don't go now. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, he he took his ass back to uh, you know Japan, thank God. Or or is he still on impact? Who knows? Um, but I I think Kenny knows that AEW is not in a place he thought it would be. When it began, and that it's not how he envisioned it to go. Well, this was before the suspension. Do you, uh, and if, if Tony Khan has any something in, in his mind, he's, Tony Omega is not a vice president anymore. So, you know, he's going to be one of the boys, essentially, that... Do you see there I mean, any heat from the locker room or any resentment for those comments like, oh, I'm maybe better than you, but now, oh, I'm getting knocked down to your level again. Okay. There's... I, I think there's something that has to be understood, and that's the use of the word executive now in the WWE executive means board member because it's a publicly traded company in AEW it's just a Fancy title for saying, hi, I work behind the scenes. I'm sorry to do this to my guy, but Pat Buck is AEW's executive vice president of talent relations. Okay. Which I'm, which I'm sure they have a couple of. Uh... But the the point is, the the term executive in AEW is the way it's used in Hollywood. In that, an executive producer gets a credit, and has no actual power in terms of the business. So, I really think it has been a figurehead title for Kenny and the Bucks. I mean, Cody was one, and we saw him uh, go without so much as a, uh, not even a titter. Well, uh, speaking of the young bucks, um, depending on who you believe, they somehow feel was the WWE. <laughs> uh, the young bucks kind of having, I have to say buyer's remorse because they don't, didn't buy AEW, but, you know, remorse being in that company. Yeah, yes. I mean, 
their hairlines were smart. They got out before they did. Way too. <laughs> and again, if you want to get with the times, call them the middle age bucks. They ain't that young anymore. This is true. I mean, let's say they, this is true and that they did send out fillers to WWE. What would WWE do with the young bucks in 2022? To going into 2023. Just feed them the Usos at this point? I mean, they, they could resurrect Generation Me, where they were Pat Buck's lost sons. But then they would have to be, Pat Buck would have to go back to WWE. Um, yeah, I'm sure he will. Pat Buck seems to be the Pong of professional wrestling. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, the the yeah you know, the man's bouncing back and forth, and uh, could the WWE do anything with the young bucks? Yes, but you have to. You have to get AJ Styles and somebody else involved. Like do a, a Bullet Club type deal. Uh, I I I I would even say, you know, bring up, bring up Roddy. Mm, yeah, like and the, and. A Ring of Honor club. Yeah, American Strong Style. There you go. A oh, I AJ, mean, you stick AJ. With, uh, with Kevin Owens for the 10 people that know that they were a group at one point. I mean, see, now, if Sammy Zayn were to split off from the bloodline, that would be kind of a great way to bring them in. You know, you, you're not wrong about that. But, mm. Hey, I'm liking this. I'm but, shopping. But I don't think... I don't think Trips wants them. I don't think so either. We we know he wants Kenny. I mean, who wouldn't want Kenny? He, uh, and, and yeah, uh, I mean Kenny. Kenny himself has stated that he will wind up there. there most likely as he's rounding out the end of his career. And, you know, it doesn't seem like, you know, I could be wrong about this, but, you know, those injuries have accumulated, and it doesn't seem like he has a lot of years left. But I think in a WWE ring he could work quite a bit safer oh, for sure. and taken care of. And the thing is, is that I don't think AEW is ever going to do, is ever going to let anybody kick out of the one-winged angel. Um, I mean, yeah, but like, he might even have a new move by then. I mean, that's like, it's like one of the last remaining bastions of pro wrestling. You know, like the Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. You know, who, you know, who's going to defeat Roman? Who will be the first person to kick out of the one winged angel? And I, I think, quite honestly, the first person will be the last person. 
somebody has kicked out of the one of the angel. Don't keep me wrong about that. Um, but yeah, if Kenny was to go to WWE, he could go another maybe 10, 15 years, honestly. Um, and I think people would really, I think he would have great matches with a lot of talent there. And when you make the times right, you know, help some guys out. Uh, only one person has ever kicked out of the one league angel, and it happened in Japan, so it doesn't count. Okay. Uh, now, Ibushi. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, Ibushi. All right, um, you know, we spoke a little bit about Pat Buck. Um, him, uh, Brendan Cutler, and a lot of the other people that were involved in the skirmish after the skirmish. Yeah. Um, how the suspension has been lifted in their basketball. I mean, whoever believes uh, Brendan Cutler did anything but spray the people that were in in the fight with cold spray, I have no idea. Um, good thing that we're getting uh, unsuspended people from the scrimmage. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yes, it's the right thing for those who broke, who are only trying to break up, uh, the, you know, the the fight, right. and, but, but, again, being behind. The the seeds, I mean, I mean, this is your uh, if, so, you know, this is a uh, sun so has a back to the force and no one's around to see it. Did it happen? Situation. Very true. Um. Also, we put it back. Uh, in AEW is uh, a one Jeffrey Nero Hardy. Um, he's almost done with his stint in rehab. Um, and uh, according to Matt Hardy, this is going to be a new Jeff Hardy. Do you think we're going to see a new Jeff Hardy or just the same Jeff Hardy that's been disappointing us for the last, what, two Two years. I, I have to make this clear. Uh, people uh, may have read uh, Rampage uh, or seen Rampage or read the Rampage spoilers uh, and saw a clickbait article that said Willow is back. They were Referring to Willow Nightingale. <laughs> now, you know, whisper in the wind, you know, Jeff Hardy. Um, the world last time with the umbrella. I, I, I don't know. What to expect of Jeff Hardy being an addict like he is and being given so many chances, especially after he had couple of periods where he was earnest about keeping his sobriety. You know, eventually, you don't trust the boy who cries wolf anymore. Right. Uh, and, and I'm... Like, 
And at, at this point, I'll be like, okay, he's back. Good for him. Uh, but I don't know if I want to watch him from a personal standpoint anymore. And that, and that's only because I relate to his issues on, on a deeper personal level. And you know, I, I get that. And, you know, I'm kind of in the same boat in that. Not, you know, that I, I relate. But I don't want to see this guy, you know, and I'm not saying that he would, kind of self-destruct in front of my eyes. And, you know, he constantly says, you know, I'm, uh, this is my last, uh, if this doesn't work out, this is my last shot, this is my last screw-up. Uh, I need to hold myself accountable, but, you know, he's not, and he keeps screwing up, and he keeps saying that. And this, you know, this stunt in me have, you know, it's not like he said, okay, I'm cleaning myself up. This was AEW saying, you can't work here unless you get clean. And unless I see, you know, what Mac says, and, you know, a different version of Jeff Hardy, like, not the guy with the, you know, stockings on his hands and the Christmas t-shirts and maybe a different version that I haven't seen. Like Matt Hardy, mm -hmm. you know, Matt Hardy re reinvents itself every couple of years, and it's interesting and fun. Unless I see that with Jeff, I don't think... Honestly, I'd rather just see him home, happy and healthy, and not have that trigger mm -hmm. of wanting to do those things with doing pro wrestling. Yeah, I, I don't want to see, you know, uh, a 45 year old guy doing the thing I used to do in high school to convince my teachers that I was actually awake when I was actually sleeping. Um, I also say uh, on a much more deeper personal level, yes, because Jeff and I have gone through the same things, but also because Jeff and I share a birthday that recently passed. Do you have a, the same birthday as Jeff Hardy? Yep. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Not the same year, same day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and talking about days and years that should have came sooner, the Kona Kai and Io Sky finally won the Women's Tag Team Championship against Aaliyah and Raquel Gonzalez. Why did it take so, why, why did we, just, why did it take so long for us to get here? It seems like it was an extra step for absolutely no reason. Exactly. That's exactly the term. And I am hereby, yeah, the, the group, maybe damage control, but I am officially dubbing the team of EO Sky and Dakota Kai as <laughs> what, how did I how was I gonna say it? I don't know, we didn't talk about it. No, it was it. Ay yeah yeah Kai <laughs> Um, uh, yes, it, it was an extra step. Uh, I, I think, I think they know that the women's tag titles are kind of, meaningless without a fully fleshed out division 
Oh, so, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm getting to my point. Okay. Uh, so, they're going to keep the belts associated with the program pertaining to the Raw Women's Championship. So they so they look prestigious by association. Hmm. Um, and again, I keep bringing up this idea, and at some point, it's gonna happen. You know, damage control. You know, either it, it's either Oscar and Alexa take the belts off Eo and Dakota, and then there's another six woman tag for for all the gold. You you really want that match, Scooter? I mean, the all the all uh, belts. Uh, legal. It, 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 even though it really wouldn't improve the stock of the women's tag team titles, it would make them look kind of a big deal if they're on the line in the same match as the Raw Women's Championship. Again, prestigious by association. And I feel if you don't have, you know, legitimate tag teams to actually go against these girls, you know, at this point only toxic tag cakes, I mean attraction, are the only other tag team that isn't drawn together. And they can't go for those titles because they're a heel group. So they can I mean, they're not going to go heel against heels. So, essentially like Alexa or Asuka, but that they're drawn together. Aaliyah and Raquel drawn together. Natalia and uh, Sonya. How many times has Natalia got thrown around at this point? Yes, but and again, d- doing that this six woman all belts legal angle is also an excuse to flesh out a women's tag division. In the meantime, fair enough. Uh, that being said, uh, speaking of toxic attraction, they were uh, they competed last week on SmackDown. Are they a part of the main roster? And Mandy um, Rose didn't get the memo. I I believe they are considered both. They they are officially listed as members of the SmackDown roster, uh, and. The NXT North American Championship can now also be defended on SmackDown. Oh, very true. There's a uh, um, Han Solo Coca Cola won the <laughs> North American Championship. <laughs> Pretty sure that's true. Oh, oh, you, you, you win the internet, sir. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I just think it is. Um, I mean, considering that there's, that, that, and, God and and we went from this and we're going to Logan friggin' Paul. Uh, Are we though? Do we have to? I 
I'm, I'll, I'll mention it quick. Uh, Logan is holding a press conference today. Uh, uh, Saturday the 17th uh, in Las Vegas. He has asked Roman Reigns to show up. He confronted the bloodline last night on SmackDown. Uh, was going to get confronted by Han Solo Coca-Cola. Uh, instead got Sami Zayn. Uh, sucker punched Sami Zayn. Um, uh, he kind of held his own in a promo against Paul Heyman. I'll give him that. That's saying a lot, considering who Paul Heyman is. I mean, I mean, Logan Paul and Paul Heyman. Logan Paul Heyman! All right. Uh, I mean, you know, they, they, they both know, um, they're, they're, they're both hustlers, so. This is true. Um, so, I mean, the idea is, is Logan is a, Apparently going to challenge Roman to a title match. Oh, God. And he when kept talking lamp, about... When did the lamp stop screaming, please? Uh, <laughs> uh, and he kept talking about getting that one lucky shot. What it, it, all it takes is one lucky shot. Um, n- now, uh, Logan, if you've been watching, it clearly takes seven or eight lucky shots. Um, yeah, just ask John Cena or Drew McIntyre. Uh, or Brock at this point. Uh, I mean, because <laughs> one is definitely not guaranteed. I'd say up to five. Isn't even guaranteed. Six is a slight possibility, and we keep going up until, you know, I, I would say about forty-two lucky shots. <laughs> and then, and then, you would have to land the forty-two shots, and you would somehow have to make Roman drink forty-two shots. Of Jack Daniels before the match, as well, just uh, and make sure that Sami Zayn, the Usos, and uh, Solo are not anywhere near the facility. facility. Uh, like they, they're like uh, ball gagged and bound. Yeah, it's it, it's it's wrestling's first ever gimp match. Oh, get! Oh my God, gimp versus simp. Oh man, I I I am a genius. Um, <laughs> Gimp versus uh, Sim coming to AEW soon. Clearly, this is a means to something else. Also, Someone else. Uh, possibly, I think the smart money is on a. Program with Kevin Owens. I mean, Kevin Owens uh, hates Ke- Logan Paul, so why would he get involved to help Logan Paul? That that's that's the thing. I I think Kevin Owens would show up to hijack the press conference. Oh, okay. And be the one who challenges Roman to a title match at Extreme Rules. Because I swear to God, if Extreme Rules doesn't have a title match in the main event, or the undisputed universal title match in the main event, there's not going to be any other match. That could fill it. That could fill the main event slot. 
there's a potential Bobby Lashley uh, United States Championship match. That, that was the other thing. Uh, given that, you know, Bobby and Seth, um, it, but clearly we're headed, we, we are going towards another Matt Riddle, Seth Rollins match. And I would really, I think logically, it's either, I mean, if we're going, if we're going by what we've seen on TV, Kevin Owens is the likely next contender. Logically, it should be Bobby Lashley. Well, if we're going off what's, what's coming off TV right now, then Logan Paul is the next contender, even though he's only ever had two matches. But, you know, he said he might challenge uh, Oh, that's Roman. such a bullshit answer. You either do or don't. Just don't tease it. I mean, I think... I think they're just, um, I think this is, this press conference is going to uh, announce that Vegas is going to host the 2024 Royal Rumble. That one sucks. Um... Do you think they're going to actually do it at Allegiant this time, or uh, they're going to uh, cancel at the last minute? I know. I think the Rumble could fill. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think that's why they're going back to the Astrodome with the Rumble. Oh, shit, it's going to be at the Astrodome? Yeah. I thought it was, gonna, I thought it was in San Antonio. Uh, it's, yeah, it is, yeah, it's San Antonio. I it was going to be at the Alamo. Alamo, no, oh, God, I, Alamo Dome, Alamo Dome. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Same place as the '97 Rumble, the Alamo Dome. And I believe the 2014 Royal Rumble. Uh. The one where New Orleans won. The second time. Uh. That was Pittsburgh. No, there was another one in the Alamo Dome, but it was um. It didn't go well, needless to say. 2013 was Phoenix. 2015 was Philly. Twenty twelve was St. Louis. Twenty eleven was Boston. Yeah, 2017. There's an empty Alamo Dome. So it's the third time they'll be in the Alamo Dome. And uh, hopefully it goes better than the one the time in 2017 because that was an absolutely clusterfuck of just uh, logistics and getting into the, the arena and whatnot. Um, speaking of logistics and logic, what the fuck happened to Chad Gable Stevenson? Because he was supposed to be on the main roster by now, and he's MIA. Uh, I mean, I... Uh, 
let's see. Um, ooh. He's not progressing as uh, as I think they would like. Uh, they've got no plans to use him as a talent. Also, uh, he's not training at the Performance Center. No, they're sending coaches to him to train. Uh, he's He's training with uh, Ken Ken Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. So, I mean... Damn it. I mean... Could we we see Mr. Kennedy? Kennedy! Return. I mean, he'd be a great heel manager for sure. And, you know, the way that his career kind of ended, it would be a nice little redemption arc, if you ask me. Yeah, especially considering that Edge is looking to wrap up his career for good. Yeah. I think a a very fitting send-off would be against Kennedy. <laughs> and Kennedy Kennedy gets the revenge. Oh god. That he's been wanting for over two de- yeah, almost over almost two almost two decades. decades at this point. Oh my god. All right. Interesting. Alright, uh, let's leave the news there. And now a quick word from our sponsors. The only gaming drink company in the world with four unique product lines to suit your task at hand, whether it be juices, shakes, smoothies, and everything else in between. Their low-calorie, no-sugar energy formula is the perfect alternative to sugar-filled canned energy drinks and sodas. Their extreme formula provides the most energy focus, and sports performance possible. Their hydration line offers focus, ingredients without the added caffeine. Drink it anytime. You're thirsty. And their shake formula is so delicious. Who doesn't love a cookies and cream, zero-calorie energy milkshake? First and foremost, they've designed every Rogue product line with performance and effectiveness in mind. It is critical that you look at the nutrition panels of drinks when comparing options. There are countless off-brands out there that are presenting low quality, poorly dosed formulas that amount to expensive caffeine water. Every formula they produce is designed with optimal levels of high quality ingredients. Additionally, you won't find a powdered gaming drink brand that dissolves better. No need to have chalky textures in your drink. Their taste profiles are unmatched, specifically designed for gamers, athletes, students, entrepreneurs, people with hectic schedules, individuals with low energy, podcasters who can't shut up, people who are health conscious, and so much more. Great as both a pre-workout and as a coffee energy drink replacement. Specifically designed every Rogue product line to be the best gaming drink on the planet. Rogue energy, more energy, more focus, more wit. Use promo code Wrestling E for ten percent off your next purchase. And we are wrestling with PWI's top five hundred list. The full list was uh, released a couple of days ago. Uh, and um, you know, five hundred names. You gotta fill some in. Mm. And we're going huh. to be covering all 500 names. So I mean, do, do we want to start with the the, uh, the the most notable omission? Uh, please uh, show. Cash Wheeler's not on that list. And I mean, we'll get into this, get into that, but I mean, both Young Bucks are on the list. 
and I don't remember them having any singles matches in twenty in the last year. But I mean, Zach Hardwood has. Yeah. Hold on, and just for reference, uh, last year Mox was at the top of the list, yeah. right? Uh huh. The year before that, who was at the top of the list? Uh, Okada. Is it Okada? Okada or Omega? Uh, I re- I was really hoping it was Seth. <laughs> We could, it could have been a shield. <laughs> One, two, three. No. Uh, but let's let's uh get into it. All right, number one, Roman Reigns. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 I mean, any other year, yeah, to like. The PWI doesn't get it right all the time, and the last couple of years have been murky. But I mean, how could you deny Roman Reigns at this point? Acknowledge uh, him. Uh. Yes. How many? That can't be right. What? He's he's wrestled forty eight matches this year. Well, it's not in the in the year, Scooter. It's a year from September of last year. Oh. That's what he uh, did. I I mean, okay, but still, given where. We were, which he was uh, still champion. Still champion, and up against Cesaro in September of last year. Um, I don't remember who he was. Oh, no, oh God! <sighs> was this? Oh, okay. Agree or disagree? Uh, okay. Disagree. Huh? Disagree. I can't agree. I mean, Roman is Roman at this point. But what? Working. There, there should be more to this than working pay per view main events. But you can't deny that the quality of his matches. I, you know, I, I wouldn't deny him top ten, even top five. But in no way is Roman Reigns number one. Well, let's get to number two. Kazuchika Okada. I mean, last year he won, he was coming off, uh, no, he didn't win the G1 yet. G1, um, like a month later, he would win the G1, a couple months after that, win the championship, um, you know, having bangers with Kazuchika, uh, with Tetsuya Naito and Jay White. I mean, when we talk about, you know, those God-tier wrestlers, Roman and Okado are the only two that I really think of. But what say you, Scooter? I, yeah, I agree. I, I, I agree. Especially from a guy who... May have only one more year on the list. I mean, 
You took maternity leave now. Yeah. Maybe he took, maybe he strategically took maternity leave just so he could come back in time to be number one on next year's list. I believe he's competing um, next month against Jonah in a rematch of uh, Doki One Match. Uh, unless uh, <laughs> unless Jonah pops up back in WWE. Unless they give him fucking Roman Reigns, and I highly doubt... Wait, 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 uh, wait, unless they give him fucking Roman Reigns? Uh, it's not that kind of show, James. Shut up. <sighs> I mean, if they don't give him... Yo, if they don't give him Roman Reigns... And a win over Roman Reigns at the beginning of them bringing him back in. Then I mean that's just a waste. Because Okada and Roman are on that same level. And he has a win over Okada. So I don't see where that would be a smart decision. For him anyway. Um, speaking of not smart decisions. CM Punk is number three. Um, he's um, tap dancing Christ. I mean, he's had some quality match. His first match back was in September of last year, and he's had some quality matches between then and now. No. Uh. I mean. He's two, two quality matches, and I'm not even including him beating Hangman. What would be the two quality matches? I, I'm assuming one of them is Darby. No. The media scrimmage. Okay, three. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to say both MJF matches, but the dog collar match and Wardlow. Hmm. Well, just from a, you know... Being a fan of the game myself, I really liked the the, the Darby Allen match, the first match back. And I mean, your eyes weren't going to sway away from that TV screen because you hadn't seen CM Punk in seven years at that point. I mean, he had some he had a good match with um, Bobby Fish, I seem to remember as well. I think that he got number three because he did win the championship and was more or less undefeated for that whole year. But I'm not sure that maybe three was the place for him. But he definitely deserved top ten. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to disagree. Oh, really? Where would you play Punk? High teens, low 20s. Hmm. I right, um, number four, Hangman Pagey. He was, he did win the AEW Championship, had a couple good matches with Daniel Brock. Well, Brian Danielson. Um, do you think he considers this taking advice? I I think if it weren't for his uh, stubbornness, <laughs> I really think I you know what I think you could switch Hangman and Roman. 
Oh God, no! Do you think Adam Page deserves to be number one over Roman? Oh, absolutely. Dude, what are you smoking? Hangman really hmm. Oh shit, now I'm thinking about this. I really think Hangman tells a little bit of a better story with his matches or at least he used to. I will admit Roman did catch up. Um, but Adam Page's dedication to you know, his schedule and making appearances I think is what makes him top my list. I mean, fair enough. I personally felt like during his title reign, they may have misused or mistreated Paige. But again, that's completely my opinion on the matter. Um, But I don't think that there was maybe... A bad quality match, but definitely not in regards to storytelling what needed to be done. Especially in the Daniel Bryan uh, rivalry. Bryan Danielson. Um, that brings us to number five. Bryan Danielson. <laughs> no, Bobby Lashley. Um, I get that, and you know, it mm. feels like Bobby has done some good shit in the last year or two. You could make an argument that he should have been number one last year. How do you feel about Bobby Lashley at number five? I think Bobby Lashley is top ten. I I kind of thought that five would, given the names we heard, five would go to Seth. I mean, yeah. Lastly, has. Improved by leaps and bounds. And he, he's so entertaining to watch now. Oh, absolutely. The, the, the question is... Aside... From... I mean, what memorable moments of of Bobby Lashley can you remember between September of last year and now, aside from losing to Brock and then getting put through a chamber by Brock? He beat Brock in January. Oh, that's shit. That's right. Okay. Uh, aside from beating Brock. I mean, he won the championship at the beginning of the year. Uh, okay, that's... And then he had a rivalry with Brock. I think things took a dip after Mania just because, you know, he had to fight Almas, but I think he got on track with... um. 
a really solid match against Austin Theory at Money in the Bank. Um, besides, like, January, things are a little fuzzy on my... Oh, he, he competed against uh, Big E, where he just continuously lost to him. Yeah. So, uh, I, I would say if this was, you know, I would say if this was a most improved list, Roman would probably be number one. And, you know, Lashley would be number two. I would argue there are a couple that deserve the number five spot a little more, but I'll agree. Would that be number six, Cody Rhodes? Because from September of last year, he was in AEW, uh, and then coming into WWE, having probably the greatest quality matches in WWE history against Seth Rollins. Um, you know, lateral match against Sammy Guevara. Some absence in between. Um, when it came to quality of match performance, nobody really outperformed Cody this year, no? Mm. I mean... Cody definitely delivered yeah, a match of the year contender. Multiple. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, that, you know, the, the torn pack or torn bicep, whatever it is, I can't remember which one it is anymore. Yeah. Hmm. God, that. Oh man. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh. Cody at six. Yes or no? Yes. Number seven, Brian Danielson. I mean, he came to AEW when this when the the period of the year started. Um, had some quality matches with um, Kenny Omega. Uh, a more melodramatic rivalry with Adam Page. Uh, a bloody feud with John Moxley, and um, a lot more. I say switch him and Punk. Really? B based on pure, based on literally the number of matches alone and the effort put into those matches. I mean, by all means, Brian Danielson could be some, could be a, could choose to be a part timer. True. At this point. And he, cho he chooses to be a full timer. Uh, that, no. that speaks volumes to me. True, but I mean, when we talk about, you know, the blight of injuries that AEW sustained in the last, uh, in one month, you could honestly say Daniel Bryan, the way that he wrestles, is more a part of the problem than the solution, in my opinion. Um... 
Then at number eight, El Hijo Del. El, what the, did he pronounce that wrong on purpose? I have no idea if I can pronounce it right, wrong, or <laughs> other. But who is he dating inside PWI that he got at number eight? Is what I like. El, El Hijo Del. And, um, El Hijo Del, yes. No, it's El, El Hijo. Hi, Joe. You have to, you have to have one fan named Joe, right? I mean, is it is, is is this a wrestler, or are they referring to Santos Escobar? Uh, definitely not Santos Escobar. I have. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Well, how do you feel about him? How do you feel about his last year in pro wrestling? Um, if I could see it. This is the part where you make shit up, Scooter. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's John Cena. No, I mean, so, I mean, unless this is an all-encompassing term for the Suns. Uh, because, I mean, then it's really fucking racist. Um, I have no idea. Like, I mean, God, I, I remember... I remember back in the you know eighteen eighties in the Sunnyside Gardens going to see El Hijo Day with my great uh, grand uncle cousin father, uh, and him wrestling Moses. Oh man, that that was that, that was. Uh, Still not sure if that was a walk or a gimmick. Like. Number nine, Big E. I feel like this is maybe more of a sentimental number nine, considering that, you know, he's not in WWE. He's not okay. in, He's injured right now, but he did have a good uh, start of the year. Okay. Uh, just to elaborate, they're referring to El Tijo de Vikingo. What, what from, I got here on this list? From, 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 uh, from, trip, from Lucha Libre AAA. I, I'm, I'm assuming you're looking at the first link that I clicked uh, at AIPT Comics. I will not give away my, my resources, damn it. Uh, I mean, the one, you know, that has, uh, yeah, the news that Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul is reportedly set for Crown Jewel. Uh, uh, big, I mean, I mean, he, 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 he won the belt, finally, mm -hmm. um, it, it, it got it, it, it got taken away from him too soon uh, so that uh, it, it turned him kind of back to the, into the mid card and then uh, unfortunately you know you know he broke himself. Um, he didn't break himself. All right, the ring broke him. Which the floor broke, broke him. him. No, nothing gets Vince Hoffman, but he dropped Biggie on his head. Um, I do know that when he comes back, he might actually have his last name back. 
Uh, Langston? Yes. Yeah, do you want it, Doctor? I mean, otherwise, I'm going to trademark it, and I'm going to be a porn star named Langston Huge. Um, it's a play on words. Um, Something I, 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 I disagree. I kind of agree, but can, uh, considering, you know, he's a, this, uh, what happened to him. I can understand uh, the sentimental value of giving him number nine. Yeah. That brings us to non, uh, to top ten, number ten, Jonathan Grissom, and I'm sure that him being at number ten gives him the stock to go to WWE, them paying him a billion dollars. And being the one to finally defeat Roman Reigns and go on a Bruno Sammartino type run. You're the- <laughs> and, you know, obviously a big fuck you to Tony Khan as well. But, uh, what say you, Sudo? I mean, considering that, you know, PWI was kissing Tony's ass last year, um... I, I, I... Can't agree or disagree based on the little I saw of Jonathan Gresham. I may lean towards disagree simply based on the fact that you know, Ring of Honor went under and then it went up again. Uh, but it, 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 I agree I mean, with you disagree. Yeah. I mean, who did Jonathan Grissom beat of significance or have um, match quality to get that top 10? Uh, his meat? Oh, well, uh, you know what? I'm not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> number eleven, number eleven, single to Kage. Um, I mean, ever since losing the belt, he's still going on a pretty nice run himself. But I know you don't watch New Japan. I, I think he's a reliable New Japan workhorse. Uh, I yeah, I I agree. He was probably in the most memorable match of the year. That being the tw- uh, the thirty count uh, match against uh, Tai Chi. So yeah, I'm. I get that. Number twelve, John Moxley. I feel like John Moxley has been since coming back from rehab, has been operating on a different level. Um, that level is obviously, you know, getting busted open just by, you know, being looked at people. Um, I, I, I mean, he's bled enough uh, to fill, I think, three whole people, three grown adults at this point. That sounds about right. Um, but considering how high he was on the list, was he number one? Yeah, he was number one last yeah, year. He was number one last year, and he did less. Which makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, this is a year I would agree Moxley could be number one simply based on the fact that he came back from rehab and actually carried AEW on his shoulders. Right. And talking about not doing anything, number 13, Matt Cardona. Major Pod cheated. Yeah, fuck those guys. And they clearly cheated to get uh, to the top, uh, this high on the list. Of course. I mean, it, I mean, but 
if you're gonna cheat, I mean, go for gold. Don't settle for 13, Matt. Come on, man. I mean, God, I, I, I thought Mikey taught you better. Jesus. Um, speaking, but speaking of quality of wrestler, and maybe you should have been a little higher on this list, Josh Alexander, number 14. I feel like uh, Impact Wrestling always kind of gets slighted when it comes to these lists. And, you know, Josh has done some quality work in this last year. Yeah. And this is it's this is Impact's real first appearance on the list, right? Um Up to this point, yeah. Matt Cardona. Uh, the mm, has made a few appearances, but I mean I I, 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 I I mean I, I I honestly I would say Cardona is G- GCW more than Impact. Um Yeah, I think I think Alexander is completely uh, overlooked. Uh, that being said, I will agree uh, because he could have been he could have been a lot lower. I honestly think somebody's like. Oh shit! We gotta put somebody from Impact in the top twenty. <laughs> yeah, it kind of seems that way. Then we got uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi at number fifteen. Um, you know, T- Tana has not—he's had better years, but I feel like this was a good year for him. So I kind of feel like fifteen is the right spot for him. Scooter. Uh, yeah, I agree. 16, MJF. Well, I feel like MJF... I I mean, quality of story is there, but quality of wrestling isn't. Oh, see, hmm... Ah, yeah. I mean, winning the Dynamite I, Diamond Ring isn't going to get you higher on this list. Uh, uh, n- no, I, I think... I think we've only just started to see the best that MJF can do. Uh, and... I would not be surprised if he's top five next year. Well, we shall see about that. Number 17, Seth freaking Rollins. Now, talk about a guy that really should be in the top ten. Yeah. Operating on a different level, I think at this point, time last year, he was wrestling Edge and Hell in a Cell. Um, then uh, the incredible match with Roman at uh, Royal Rumble. Yeah. Uh, Edge and Hell in a Cell. Yeah, Seth yeah. wrestled Edge. Scooter? Oh, shit, sure. that's right. They did, they did a hell of a so match. Um, you know, Roman at Rumble, uh, and then going on that contention of bangers with Cody. Mm. Ye- oh, God, you know what? S- Switch Seth and Gresham? No, you know what? Screw that. Switch Seth and El Hijo del Vikingo. Switch Josh Alexander with Jonathan Grissom. 
Why can't you solve the fucking top ten? Oh, uh, I think it was the 18. Adam Cole, Bay Bay. <laughs> I I agree. You know, for for a man that went from being the workhorse <laughs> to just being the horse's ass, oh god! Yeah, like it, it, how the how the mighty have fallen. Talking about the mighty falling, Kenny Omega's 19. Okay, so for context, November, the, this list, the, the timeline starts in September. Kenny Omega last match was in November, and then he doesn't have another match until, what, August? And he's number 19. In what universe does that make sense? Um, uh, uh, 404, file I found. Number 20, Drew McIntyre. This, this is an old guy that you saw... Well, maybe not, but... Uh, this, this is why we need to invent new numbers. <laughs> and uh, not decimals. Or, you know, or maybe we count decimals. Who knows? Um, I can tell. 19 and a half. That'll work for me. Or uh, we'll invent a new number between 1 and 2 and call it Believe. Uh, McIntyre should have been should have been higher. Uh, but I you know I get I guess you you have to like agree uh just to on the fact that he's not lower. Well, we got Moose at twenty one. Um, that sounds about right. Yep. Chris Jericho at 22. Right I'm, at 20. huh? I'm surprised uh, Jericho actually even got that high. Jay Wright at 23. He's the current IWGP champion. Just by winning that championship, so he had get, gotten a little higher, considering he's had more matches than Kenny Omega has. Oh, absolutely. 24. Alexander. I don't know who, uh, what Alexander, but an Alexander uh, is on the... Oh. Um, Alright, we... We need to get this full legit list. This is the legit list. Uh, 25. AC Mac. I can't say... No one... Yay or nay to that, so... Okay. Um, 26. Braun Breaker. Considering this is his first time on the list, I don't think that's pretty bad. What say you, Scooter? No, not, um... Not pretty bad at all. Will Ospreay at 27. And he's supposed to be... I mean, he's supposed to be better than Kenny Omega in the eyes of Dave Meltzer at this point. You know, more seven-star matches than Kenny Omega. But Kenny Omega has only wrestled three months out of the year of this schedule. And he's a lot better than Will Ospreay is on this list. So what does that tell you about Will Ospreay? I mean, hmm. Okay then. Yeah. Man. Twenty-eight. Sammy Guevara. 
if he wouldn't have called Eddie Kingston fat, would he have been higher on this list? No. 29. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr. If he liked uh, Boy George more than George Michael, would, would he be uh, higher on this list? Mm. No. Speedball Mike Bailey. If he wore suits, would he be higher on this list? I mean, I, I will say he's improved leaps and bounds, and he he is becoming a standout of impact. Oh, for sure. Some really quality work for Mike Bailey. Uh, I mean, so I'd say it, it's about right. I, I would not be surprised if Impact has uh, two guys in the top 20 next year. <laughs> Dirty one, Bandito. <laughs> Uh, ben, 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 Ditto. Uh, number thirty-two. Bandito, as in Chris Bandito. Oh, I don't know. He, he was still competing. Good for him. I, I, I mean, in, uh, in the, uh, you know, the ZWF, the Zombie Wrestling Federation. That's where Mama Sungo resides right now, right? Just say yes. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not saying anything else because I think I already took it too far with uh, All right, fair enough. the Chris Candido allegory. So. Tatsuki, Tatsuki, Katsu, uh, Katsuhiko Nakajima. Is 32. And that is where we'll leave that. Ace Austin is 33. Sure, why not? Um, I feel like he should be lower on the list, honestly. Top top 50 is way too good for that guy. Um, 34, Jake Lee. I will say 35. <laughs> Hatchio. <laughs> He took zero. He took zero. I believe it's it's either Hechicero or Hechicero. Let's both agree that he deserves to be thirty-five. Uh, let's both agree that we don't even know what he looks like. Number thirty-six, Kevin Owens. Okay, that's bullshit. <laughs> um, no, I, I kind of get that. Uh, I mean, Kevin, you know, he's had good matches, but I mean, th the highlight of his year was fighting Stone Cold. And then after that, he wrestled not Elias Ezekiel, and all that momentum from Stone Cold quickly died. Mm. And, but he would, but he would put in matches week in and week out. I I I think that there's a couple names that we could switch where we could put Kevin Owens uh up. For 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 example, uh. Thirty-five. He took zero. Or even, or even twenty-four, considering it's an Alexan it's an unknown Alexander. <laughs> well, this one absolutely makes no sense to me. Thirty-seven, Xavier Woods. Yeah. 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 It. it, it how he even got into the top 100 is a complete mystery to me. Uh, 
38, Scorpio Sky. Kind of understand that. He had a good little run with the TNT title that nobody has seen. Um, 39, El Desperado. Love Despy. Despy has had fantastic matches, and I can't say anything bad about Desperado. Number 40, Eddie Kingston. If, uh, he didn't slap, uh, Sammy Guevara, would he be higher on this list? Nope. And, hold on, I'll put on a pot of coffee since we're gonna be here till, uh, 2023 with this list. <laughs> Number 41, a psycho clown. God damn it. You, you do this just to piss me off. What? His name's a psycho clown. I don't make up these names. <laughs> huh? Were you a decent English student? I speak good English. Uh, you learn English. You learn English good. I That's English impossible. Forty-two, Jacob Fatu. They say he's forty-two, and I believe you. Yay! Uh, uh. So Jacob Fatu is the meaning of life. Yes, and we can't sing the circle of life because uh, copyrights. Mm -hmm. Don't know what they. No, because. I, I make a Hitchhiker's reference, and you make a friggin' Lion King reference. Jesus. Uh, 43. Wheeler. Yuna! <laughs> Thank God, I didn't want to have to remind you. Um... Right. He, he... He probably would have been lower had he not been put... In Blackpool Combat Club? Oh, what so good for him. But I told you what being in that group has done for him. Very true. Number 44, Minoru Suzuki. Um, yeah, legend. <sighs> Been having quality matches. Um, maybe not in the limelight anymore, but... Um, nobody's going to tell him otherwise. Uh, I mean, and I used I used to drive a Minoru Suzuki. Uh, yeah, you know, a Minoru Suzuki, a Minoru Suzuki motorcycle. It uh, it was great. Uh, I mean, it was old, but you know, it still had a full tank of. No, on second thought, no, it would run out of gas after about eight minutes. <laughs> Number, number 45. Just like the, just like the real Minoru Suzuki. Number 45. Darby Allen. This is great for Darby. But that being said, will people finally have a conversation with a stranger in a supermarket about him? I, I don't know, but maybe we should pick a random person from this list and... Replace their replace their name. Uh, replace Darby's name with their name every once in a while. Number forty six, Sinsuke Nakamura. Um, has a lot, yeah. but I'm assuming that's a yeah. number. Yeah. Yeah. Number forty seven, Randy Orton. Do um, you feel like he could be a little higher, or did they get the sweet spot with Randy? Uh, I mean, considering, uh, c considering that you know he he's he missed half of this uh year essentially. Um, I think that's about right. Had Randy been around more, he'd definitely be higher. I mean, he should be higher 
for the simple fact that he set a man on fire at the last <laughs> That rhymes. Uh, I, he, he, but he sets a lot of people on fire. That's true. Um, somebody that's not setting people on fire in any way possible, um, Daniel Garcia is 48. Uh, I, I, I disagree. Uh, I, I disagree with the fact that he's, you know, lighting, he, he's starting to light that fire. Uh, fans are getting behind him. And, and his, his, his victory over Brian Danielson is why he is on this list, uh, at, at, at this spot. There's one... Does one win against Daniel Bryan really give you a forty uh, a number forty eight spot? Yes, yes, a- absolutely. Especially when y- you've been part of a stable uh, with one of the you know. AEW Founding Fathers. All right. Um, 49, Shane McGill. Uh, would he be higher if he didn't associate with Nazis? <laughs> um, I mean... Uh, We're not saying that he's a Nazi. Just so everybody's clear. Should I move on to number 50? Uh, e, 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 yes. Number, number 50, Trisadora. Now this is... um. Our first female on the list. Yep. Uh, hey, I think the first female to be... I think this is the first year they're including both. No, they did a couple last year. Uh, well then, fuck them. Uh, yeah, good for Chris. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we we've interviewed uh, a, 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 quite a few of her opponents. Uh, yeah. Uh, most of them losing to her, I believe. Um, number fifty-one, Kai. Uh, missing from this list. Entai! Kai Tai? Entai. Entai. Kai yes. Entai. Good for him. Get it? Kai Entai. Indeed. Uh, all, all I know is. All I know of Kai is. It's, it's a game based on a manga, I think. That sounds about right. Uh, 52. Uh, Kento Mayahara. That's what I had for lunch. It's delicious. 53. Ricky Stark. Fuck you! Yeah. 54. Ricochet. When will you... When will you put the S back on the names? Just... There's no S in Ricochet. I'm I'm gonna reach through the internet and slap you so hard your mama will feel it. <laughs> Fifty five Ray Phoenix. See, my list just says Phoenix. Well, I'm assuming it's Ray Phoenix. The second most famous uh, Spanish speaker named Ray. Uh, I gotta be. There's no other Phoenix on this list. Oh, that way, anyway. There's definitely a Ray or two, though. I, 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 I mean, we're gonna have some laugh out loud moments as we get down this list. So we got the past the bastard pack at fifty six. Yeah, okay. 57, Damien Priest. 
Uh, 58, we got Kota Ibushi, which makes no absolutely sense to me. Um, he got injured at the start of the this year cycle. Um, put his shoulder in the main event, did not finish it, and we haven't seen him since. Get out the toilet paper for number 59. Uh. Konosuke Tetsuda. <laughs> Konosuke Takashita, or as as some idiots call him, Konosuke Take Shitta. <laughs> number number Suki. Suki. I haven't even got to the top five yet. Good night, everybody. <laughs> number sixteen. Look at all this. Um, okay, I mean... I haven't seen him all year. Uh, I, I mean... I mean, he probably got that high because, you know, uh, you know, Mickey sexted the publishers. That sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> 61. Go Shiozaki. Okay, tell me how to Shiozaki. And I'll go do that. Go. Um, 62 Tetsuya Naito. Um, personal favorite of mine, so I'm not going to say anything bad. Wish he was a little higher. But, you know, quality of matches the last year has been superb. Um, 63, Finn Balor. Could be higher. No. 64, uh, Tommaso Ciampa. I mean, hold, hold on, I mean, I mean, the year for of the for Finn started with Fat Finn, so, I mean, the guy who broke the friggin' top rope. <laughs> and now he's in, he's a 40-year-old man in little pants. And, and wearing purple. And taking orders from Rhea Ripley. That's calling herself puppy. I'm your mommy. Ooh, that does not sound right. Uh, moving on. Sixty-four, Six four, Trumpa. Come on, so Trumpa. Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, that shows you how outdated this list is. Ah. Uh, Sixty-five, Edge. Okay. Yeah. Sixty-six. Laredo Kid. Who? 67. Wardlow. Yes, because Wardlow is a one trick pony. Number 68. Mosquito. Oh, Jesus, James. Uh, we apologize to our. Mystic. Yeah. We apologize to our Lucha Libre fans. At the coveted number 69. Nice. Filthy Tom Lolo. <sighs> you know, I'm I mean, surprised yeah. this I'm surprised this is not Joey Ryan, so <laughs> <laughs> Well that guy got cancelled, so uh he can't be on any list. Uh, I, no, that does involve the FBI. Yeah. You know, I or, um, I'm surprised this is not Riddle. Uh. <laughs> oh, he's up 420, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Um, number 70, Alex Shelley. I love Frankenstein. Number 71, Andrade El Idaho. I, I mean, they, they, they must have listened to you, because... All it says is Andrade. <laughs> number 72, Ilya Dragunov. That you get right! Why wouldn't I get it right? That you, you, you get a... You get a Russian name like that right. But you can't pronounce plurals. There's no plurals in his name. Um, 
also with no pulls and donating. Um, 73 Malachi Block. Talk okay. about a wasted opportunity. Uh, number, yep. number 74, AJ Style. I knew you were gonna do that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I knew it. I was waiting. I was gonna be like, don't you mean AJ Style? You son of a bitch. Seventy five. Double Murdoch. We're never gonna get through this list. Um, seventy six. Te- uh, Tomohiro Ishii. That's about right. Seventy seven. Uh-huh. Carmelo Hayes. God damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, I mean, I th- I think we have a spin-off audio experience here. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, it's just a speech impediment. You should probably get that fixed, Scooter. I support you. Oh um, fuck! Fuck you in the ass. <laughs> Number seventy-eight, Ultimo Guerrero. I didn't even know Ultimate Guerrero was still alive, let alone still wrestling. <laughs> I mean, it's the it's the last Guerrero, so um, I mean, did somebody take up the mantle of of Ultimo Guerrero? Oh, but I believe that's um on a uh, discussion for another time on another podcast. Audio, Audio experience, experience damn it. <laughs> Number 79, uh, Tachiya Endo. Uh, I'm assuming they got him mistaken with Naito. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's why he's on this list. Um, Number 80, Keith Lee. Um, Number 81, Christian Cage. I suppose he didn't outwalk... Um, 80 other people. No, Scooter? Yeah, again. That, that's your chance to outwork at least one person. Correct. Um, and obviously he outworked Jungle Boy because we haven't said his name yet. Um, 82, Swarth Strickland. Yep. Uh, number 83, Taichi Ishimori. Uh, number 84, Ami Zane. No. Number 85, Kofi Kington. Number 86, a uh, friend of the show, Alex King. Um, he's been doing some great things in MLW. Um, really, honestly, happy and glad that he's on this list. Yes. And uh, so, uh, in the top 100, obviously. Uh, if you want more on Alex King, you interviewed him. Go on to the archives. Check that out. Um, 87. Look, archive. Uh, <laughs> uh, 87. Yeah, yeah, good luck pronouncing this without the S. Axel Titscha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a stripper, uh, Axel Titzer. Axel Tischer. Tischer. Uh, um, who? Number eighty-eight, Titan. There's like thirty-five wrestlers named Titan. I believe they're talking so. about the ML. Uh, the tri- no, not Triple A. Uh, the CMLL wrestler Tikon. Number it's in, it's in the Grand Tetons. Uh, number 89, um, Riddle. Oh, not at 420. Yeah, that just seems like a missed opportunity in my point. Uh, number 90, um, Jungle Boy. Yep. Number 91, Jack Perry. Wow, Jungle Boy did better than Jack Perry. What a fuck up. What? Um, <laughs> in all honesty, uh, 
number yeah. 91 is Gunther Walker. <laughs> Walter Gunther? Ah, uh, Gunther. Number 92, Romo Takahashi. Uh, number 93, uh, Pentagon Jr. Why is Pentagon so far behind his brother? <laughs> I mean, wait, but we have it, we have it even. Penta Oscuro or Penta Mierdo El Zero, um, we haven't mentioned him yet, have we? <laughs> No, this is uh, maybe he'll come uh, he'll come down the line as we continue to do this. Um, number ninety four, Yuma Aya guy. Yuma Aoyagi. Aoyagi. A uh, A Aoyagi. Aoyagi. guy. Uh, that's correct. Um. 95 is probably the gayest that it'll ever be. <laughs> Jesus, Jay. It's Afi. You gotta say. I, I. The guy has a, I, a, a, his own show that's called The Big Gay Brunch. I, 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 I know, but I, 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 well, at least that's one EST that Bianca can't take from him. <laughs> can't claim to be. Very true. Um, ninety-six. Uh, um, uh, it's just a theory. Yeah. Um, uh, ninety-seven. Jordan Grace. Uh, and number ninety-seven point five is uh Jordan Grace's clitoris. Because everyone is obsessed with it for some reason. <laughs> and I'm not going to touch that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, damn right you're never going to touch that. <laughs> um, 98, uh, Satoshi Kojima. Oh, I love Metal Gear Solid. It's a great fucking game. 99, uh, it's not LJ, uh, it's Ninja Mac. Oh, with Teddy Long back in his car, you gotta back the Mac. Oh, for sure. Um, number 100. We broke the 100. Yay. Uh, Kyle, o Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, really? Yeah. 101. That's no, no. Damn it. You're supposed to say no. O'Reilly. <laughs> 101. Dax Hardwood. Should have been higher. 102. Myron Reed. I like that guy. Should have been, should have been Dax's daughter. Uh, <laughs> 103, Powerhouse Hall. Should have also been Dax's daughter. Number 104, Adam Brooks. Um, I loved him in Spaceballs. 105, Homicide. Um, maybe later? 106, Michael Aku. Okay. You know what? That's where you say, bless you. <laughs> Gesundheit. There you go. Uh, 107, Yamamoto! Well, you say Yamato, I say Yamato. 108, Richard Holiday. Oh, Everybody loves going on a dick holiday. <laughs> 109. Vole Valador Jr. V Volador Jr. This is G Goat Boy Jr. Vola. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No. Fly. It's Fly Boy. That's what it is. Vola is Fly. Uh, door is not Door. Um. Yeah, and it's and Spanish lessons, you know. Uh, one ten, Master Slamovich. Um, I'm really happy to see Master. Oh my God, you said it right. 
happy to see Marsha on this list. Love Marsha, one of our favorite guests on the show, and um, she's soon to be Impact Wrestling champ, uh, Women's Champion. No, Scooter? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and if you want to listen to that interview, we'll go into the archives. Uh, number 111, Ali Catch, who was usually Ali Cat, now Catch, Cam. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. 112, Nick Gage. The fuck? 113, Angel the Oreo. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> The Oro, uh, with, uh, I think means an- Angel of the Eye. Who cares? Next, uh, number 113, Orange Cassidy. Uh, 115, Evil. Evil! Number 116, <laughs> Nebula. Yeah. Nebula, Roja. Nebula Roja. God damn it. All right, it's one thing to screw up English. Yeah. Oh, real classy. <laughs> oh, God. I was possessed by Mitch. Um, <laughs> Niebla Roja, which is uh, a Spanish for red nipple. 117, Katsuki Fujita. Yeah, yeah, you don't... Well, no, that's not right. No, you screw up Japanese just as equally, so... <laughs> if I had time to research these names, I would probably pronounce at least the Japanese ones correctly. And if I did, I'd probably blow my brains out. 118, Kenobi. Well, hello there. I was gonna say, if you if you had said it right, I would have been like, "But where's Ken?" Yes. One nineteen, Yuji Aka Okabayashi. Yeah, that one. I mean, I uh, I'm pretty sure uh, this is the guy that won the Nathan Tato giving contest. Oh, congratulations to him. I mean, that that alone is a reason to be on this list. I mean that that gets you your that gets you your own belt uh, your own belt separate from you know the wrestling ring. So great for him. For sure. Um, definitely. Um, at one twenty, who could definitely eat one hundred and twenty hot dogs? Uh, Omos. Hmm. Okay, Edward James Omos. 121, Mara Fuji. Okay. 122, Euphoria? Euphoria. Euphoria, Euphoria. It's a show on HBO. Uh, 123, Cameron Grimes. Should have been higher. But he is in the spot where the number's in order, so. Yeah. Um, 124, Hook. Uh, uh, I love that movie. 125, Sue Wama? Correct. 126, Hema. Hemu. Hemu. Hey, hey, uh, that's, that's the new, uh, the new mascot for, uh, 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 Liber- Liberty Mutual. Oh, and by, by the way, I have a ripping idea for uh, the Geico verse. Uh, more on that to come. Uh, never. But moving on. 126 is Seamus for anybody that was wondering. Um, and you should definitely maybe go check out this list for yourself if uh, I'm not quite sure if how we did the best job on it. <laughs> Or if we're saying them correctly, or when we're going to just randomly decide to stop. We're not stopping, Scooter. 127, Dante Martin. 
Okay, uh, I'm probably going to need pills for the rest of this list. Uh, yeah, skip to you. Uh, 128, Eddie Edward. Oh, I love that cartoon. 129, Tats Takashi Yeah, Tatsuri. Yeah, yeah, you ain't pronouncing that without the S. Yeah, no. Yeah. Figure it out. Use your use your friends audience. Um one thirty. Ida. Uh no, I'm not hungry. One thirty one. L Linda Man. Uh okay, a, 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 a Jewish guy under a mask. One thirty two. Jonah! 133, Chris Bay. 134, Happy Corbin. 135, Happy Corbin. 136, Happy Corbin. 135, Dragon Lee. Uh, and surprisingly, Dragon Chan did not make this list. Nope. 136, Tenta. That's going to be great for his book sales. 137, uh, Santa Escobar. <laughs> like to see uh, him doing something in the off season before he delivers all those presents. 138, Calvin Tankman. Um, kind of sounds like a UFC fighter, but okay. Uh, 139, Jey Uso. Uh, okay. 140, TJP. Um, I think he went before the, ha uh, we left the house. 141, Mark Haskins. No joke here. 142, Masato Tanaka. What the fuck? He's still wrestling? Apparently. Are you, are you fucking kidding? Mm hmm Friggin... Masato motherfucking Tanaka. A man who reigned over ECW. God. There's something in the water in Japan that keeps these guys, uh, keep going. Um, 143, Tony Deppin. Mm. What, what did he step in? 144, Davey Richard. Oh, I love his father, the British Bulldog. 145, SB Kent. Uh, yeah, that's me. 146, Rush. <laughs> Monday, why, yeah, mean, means try. Today, it's a mean pride. 147, Jimmy Uso. 148, Rich Swan. 149, Darius Carter. 150, The Miz. One. Uh, yep. Yeah, it should have been higher. 151, Fred Rosso. My Fred! 152, Hayato Tamura. Yep. 153, Roderick Strong. 154, Chris Brooks. Ah. Uh, I, uh, I, yeah, I'm usually not a fan of country music, but I love his songs. 155, Jay Lethal. Uh, mm -hmm. 156, Kizzy. Kizzy? Kizzy. Uh, is it, is, is it, is they, were they named after a, a Missy Elliott lyric? I don't know, but I'm, we're probably going to be interviewing them soon. <laughs> Oh. Is that your way of telling me they're one you're waiting on? <laughs> <laughs> 
157 Lance Archer. 158 Josh Woods. 159 Alec Price. 160 Jeff Hardy. 161 The Cops Who Arrest Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Oh, 161 is Joe Cross. Um, Who? 162, Mads Kruger. Oh, I loved him in Rogue One. 163, uh, Tristan Archer. Lance's younger brother. Yeah. 164, Black Tataris. Uh, it's it's nice to see uh, an American car get representation on this list. 165, at Susie Kotoge. Kotoge. Yep. Oh, yeah, I got that right. 166, Karanor. 167, Ethan Page. One. <laughs> yes? You would you like me to do this one? No, I'm good. One sixty eight. <laughs> Yasafumi Kana no way. No, no. Yasafumi Naka no way. I say yes way to no way. Oh, yeah. Naka no. Naka 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 no. Wait, wait. The coveted one sixty nine spot. Nice. Jeff Cobb. Uh, can I get mine without bacon? Um, 170, show. Show? Who is it? Yeah. 171, Max Castro. Listen. 172, W. Morrissey. Love his songs. 173, Sting. Say it right. Ah, you wanted me to say Sting. It's Sting. One seventy four Ray Mysterio. Really, you missed your opportunity. Said to say the guy that kills motherfuckers. (laughs) Well, that brings us to one seventy five. The motherfucker Ray Mysterio killed. (laughs) No, I'm dark. No, but I, I think what somebody, the fuck? <laughs> I think uh, some people would rest. Okay, Mysterio killed No I'm Dar. Uh, I mean, No I'm Dar already sounds like he's out of a Star Wars um, the novel. So, yep. Uh, number one seventy six, KG Muta. It's a great Muta. Not so great anymore. 177, yo. Yo? Who is it? 178, Tomatunga. <laughs> 179, Kaito Kiyomama. <laughs> That's what you were planning on saying. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> oh, what are you, Matt Hardy? <laughs> 181, Ricky Knight Jr. Uh, 182, Tony D'Angelo. 183, Nick Jackson. 184, Matt Jackson. I'm glad we picked up on this alternating thing. 185, John Hennigan. 186, John Eric Lee. 187, Robbie Eagle. 188, Anthony Bowen. 189, Anana. 190, Brody King. 191, Se'aro. Uh, Claudio Itacanoli. Yes, that's more correct. Um, one, 193, Jordan Blade. <laughs> 193, Han Pear. 194, Great O'Conn. Uh, but 193 Sean Spears. Uh, 195 uh, <laughs> Dexter Lumi. 196 Mark Briscoe. 
Why ninety seven? Shane Briscoe. That's just lazy writing. <laughs> yeah, this the, they were like, oh well, uh, let's get them together. Um, one ninety eight. Taz Evan. One ninety nine. Pagano. Two hundred. Bobby Fish. Two hundred one. T Hawk. Loved him in Street Fighter. One hundred two. Chris Sabian. I, lo- I loved how he produced all the Power Rangers shows. Uh, 203, Dark Sheik. 104, Luchasaurus. 204. 204. 205, Tai Chi. 206, Joe Gacy. 207, Jossi, which is probably an amalgamation of Tai Chi and Joe Gacy. So. Oh, yeah. I could definitely see that. 108, uh, 208, Willow Nightingale. Jeff Hardy again? Yeah. Uh, 209, Dragon Dia. Maria, hoo Maria, So live your life. 210, Hiroki Goto. Go to where? Uh, 211, Alex Cologne. Smell like Alex. 212, Nick Wayne. Uh, Bruce Wayne's uh, lesser known cousin. 213, our very good friend, Joel Bateman. The fucking smash hit himself. He had a fantastic bang over match a couple of days ago. Um, One of our favorite guests of all time on the show. Um, if you want more on Joel Bateman, um, Go to those, um, go into the archive to listen to one of our two interviews with him. Uh, one, yeah, this is yours, yeah. 114, Sir Skywalker. Uh, who the hell, like, who would pick Sean, Sean Scott? Okay, we'll shun you. Uh, it's the Sean Skywalker, obviously. Uh, two fifteen. Drew Parker. Two sixteen. Buddy Matthews. Two seventeen. Juice Robinson. Two eighteen. Dralistico. Two nineteen. Ah. <laughs> two twenty. Luke Jacob. <laughs> two twenty one. Yoshihashi! Fuck Yoshihashi! 222, Blake Christian. 223, Masakatsu Funaki! Number one announcer. Um, 124, Rick. 224! 224, Rick. Booms! 225, David Finlay. And I want the fight. 226, Colby Cooley. I love that cheese. Uh, 227, Templario. I think my mom uses that brand. <laughs> 228, John Silver. 228 and a half, Johnny Hungy. Uh, 229, Max the Impaler. 230, Max Angel. Matt Angel. 231, King Puertes, Death King, also known as Rey Mysterio. 232, Azuki. Uh, Izanagi. 233, Izanagi. Anthony Agogo Dancer. 234, Eric Young. 235, Sam, no relation to Adrian, Adonis. 236, Paolo. Uh, I guess that's just Captain Jack without the S. Uh, 237, Matt Hader, no aka Spike Dudley. <laughs> uh, which I, I believe that's yeah, Spike Dudley. Oh. 
138, Santana. Are you, are you screwing up the numbers on purpose now? 238, my bad. Okay. Uh, 239. A man who couldn't even trade a guy to podcast very well, Rocky Romero. 240, Rajit Rajit. Uh, bless you. Uh, 241, Chad Gable Stevenson. Oh, thank you. Sheesh. 240, Sheesh, please. Alexander Miro Rusev. Day. Hmm. Uh, 243, El Phantasmo. Parts one through four. One forty-four. Matt Cap Moss. Now you're screwing up the numbers on purpose. Two forty-five. Two forty-five. Paco. The PCO. Two forty-six. Soberano Junior. Soberano Junior. Sober. So Junior Sober Year. Wow. Uh. 247, Otis. 240, uh, 248, Kung Kakasi. That's not... Jung Kasi. Jun Kasai. Wow, I mean... Okay, wow. Uh, 249, Otis. Ortiz. Ortiz. <laughs> 250, Brian Cage. 251, Brian Keith. I mean, you can't put a magazine editor on this list. Yeah, this is just... What would they... Will they notice? We notice, PWI. Um, 152. Ta! 252, Two. John Simmons. Damn! <laughs> Uh, 253. Hiya! 254, Killian McMurphy. 255, dead. This is a load of Maloney. 256, Grand Guerrero. 256 and a half, Pop Pop Guerrero. Uh, 257, Willie Mack. I don't know. He may. 258. Masaki Machi Zizigo. <laughs> Masaki Mochizuki, uh, which is what I get on my yogurt at Red Mango. Uh, 259. Dalton Castle. 260. Joey Janela. 261. Clark Connors. 262, Senza Volto. I drive one of those. It's a good uh, car. Yes. Uh, 263. Oh, Billy Starks. Yes, love Billy. Fantastic to see her on this. Uh, and you could uh, go into our archives to listen to two of our interviews with Billy Starks. Um, 240, uh, 264, Francisco Akira. Francesco. Uh, 265, La Park! L.A. Park. One, uh, 266, Octagon Jr. Well, that was one of the many, uh, faces of Kanta. 267, Mysterious Q. 268, Steve Macklin. 269, not Danhausen, uh, Warhorse. Uh, 270, Trent. Uh, 271, uh, Jake something. 272, Kashida. 273, Diamante. 274, Casey Navarro. Uh, 275, Marco, I might be stunt, Estrada. 276, Sunny Kiss. 277, he just recently celebrated his anniversary, and he's still my Facebook friend after all these years, and I'm kissing his ass again, Alex Reynolds. 
278, uh, 278, uh, Flamingo. Flamita. God, I hope we don't interview these people and they I listen just, to this. I hope they don't listen to this. It's <laughs> Two, 279. I loved him in To Kill a Mockingbird. Atticus Coger. 280, David Ali. 281, Shane Taylor. 282, Chris Adonis. 283, Shigehiro Iri. Oh, that's Iri. 284, Billy Dixon. I hate to see where Billy is putting it. Uh, 285, Dolph Ziggler? 286. Archie Royal. Archie Royal. Let's go with that. Eric. I mean, come on. Uh, 287. The uh, the smaller, uh, le lesser lost recognized city, Atlantis Jr. 288. Butch. Good to see the Bushwhackers still wrestling. Uh, 289, Kevin Blackwood. 290, Kennedy Copeland. Oh, it just does my heart good to see Kennedy on this uh, list. No? Yes, this is this is this list is the Wrestling with All Star team, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Two, 291, Ridge Holland. Oh, go into the archives to see our interview with Kennedy Copeland. Um, yeah. 292, Dominic Mysterio. 293, Dasuke Harada. I thought it was Dasuke. Oh, 294, Xavier. Zavon, close, close enough. Yeah, okay, there you got it. Uh, 295, Cinta de Oro. Cindy del Oreo. Um, 296, Kevin Koo. Uh, I, I, I have my, uh, black belt in Kevin Koo. Uh, 297, uh, I loved his brief history of time, John Hawking. Two, oh no. Two ninety eight. Oh God! I mean, the, 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 the point of this audio experience is not to make us laugh. Making it hard. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're making this up at this point. Boop, hinder, boop, boop, I boop your nose, Gujar. Uh, boop, hinder, Gujar. Gujar. I boop, hinder, Gujar. Moving on. That was you, Scudo. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Keith, uh, Keith and Murray, uh, Oh, I, I, I loved his hip hop music. 300, we're almost oh. there, Alexei. <laughs> I thought the same thing. 301, Jake Hager. 302, DMT Azul. Uh, there is no DMT, only Azul. Uh, 303, Chris Ridgeway. Uh, 304, Joe Black. Uh, I. I I've been waiting to meet him. Uh, 35. Ray Escorpion. 306. Mike Bennett. 307. Many Ferno. 308. Ray Horace. 309. Meow. 310. Max Dupler. Thirty-one. He's really low. GPA. Three twelve. Tungaloa. 
313, Rina Yamashita. 314, Brian Miles. Major Pot cheated. Uh, 315, Royce Isaacs. 316, Stone Cold. Oh, no. Uh, Dominic Garori. Garini? Garini. Garini. I'm, I'm I'm getting concerned for you, man. Uh, three seventeen. Uh, uh, Hoodfoot. That's that's not a real wrestler. No, it is. He's wrestling some of the guys we've interviewed. Three eighteen. Sean Dean. Oh, I eat his sausage every morning. It's delicious. Uh, three nineteen. Carl Anderson. Three twenty. Cole Roderick. 321, Kid Fredericks. I mean, Kid Bandit. Go into the archives to listen to our interview with Kid Bandit. Awesome person. Uh, definitely one you want to check out. Uh, 220, uh, 322, Paul Frederick. Uh, 323, Grayson Waller. 324, you are you are more. 325, get well soon, Joe Doring. 326, Kenny King. 327, Joey Ace. 3, tw uh, 328, Dean. Uh, 329, Alex Coughlin. 330, T. Jerry. 331, <laughs> Danhausen. Very nice, very evil. Uh, 332, Titus Alexander. His, his role as WWE Ambassador. All right. Uh, 30, 333, Half the Devil, Omar Omar, uh, Omar Amir. 334, Jordan Oliver. Uh, uh, I love that chef on Cartoon, uh, Cartoon Network. Food Network, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 335, Jake Christ. 336, Soda Umo. I need a shot of you, Mino. Uh, 337, Jeremy Prophet. The prophecy is I'm gonna fucking slip my wrist after this. Jesus. 338, Doc Gallo. 339, Chicano, Illinois. Chicano. 340, Charlie Evans. Three, 341. He's out. He's out in the shack. Eel O'Neal. 342, EC. <laughs> <laughs> E.T. is stupider cousin. Uh, well, obviously he's the force because E.C. E.C. then E.C. two then E.C. three obviously. And then no, ECW. then no, then E.C.E. Oh yeah. Uh, three forty three. What the fuck? Uh, uh, Savio Vega. Yeah, he still wrestles. 344, Mike Outlaw. He's the guy that'll steal your microphones. 345, again, another guy that's still Dr. Wagner Jr. Jesus. 346, Sugi. 30, 347, Christopher and Dino. Oh, shit. 348. <laughs> 348, El Terrible. El Terrible. Uh, 349, Puma King. 350, Hikaleo. 351, Fred. Yeehaw! 352, Tyrus. I think uh, I think I got vaccinated for that. Uh, three fifty three, Brian Pillman Jr. Three fifty 
354, Charles Crowley. 355, Shug D. 356, DBN, one of our first ever interviews and one of our most highest interviews. Check out any of those in the, uh, in the archives. Um, check it out if you love DBN. We love DBN. Uh, 357, Session Moth. 358, Called Matters. Now, that, that's... That's not real. I think it's like somebody... There's something connected to this. There's a, a man called Matters or something called Matters. I've heard this name before, for sure. Uh, 359 is actually somebody I know uh, uh, quite well. And again, I am Facebook friends with Vinny Massaro. No relation to Ashley. 360, Kenty Page. I have no relation to Kenty Page. 361, Anthony Henry. 362, Don't Die Miles. Interviewed his tag team partners in Super Don't Die. Um, Freddie Hudson and uh, Cameron Sato. Check out those interviews as well. 363, Slade. 364, Eat It Surreal. 365, Mance Warner. We've reached a year. 366. Robert Kreskisko. Dreisker. Dreisker. Dresser. Dresko. 367. I, I want to say Venai. Venny. But Venny? Venny? Just call him Venny. Venny Vidi Vici. And if we interview you in the future, Venny, we deeply apologize for this. Um, 368, Angelo Falco. Uh, 369, Matt Menard. Yeah, you were really thinking, PWI. <laughs> 370, Suji Ishiwara. Are you so tired that you can't even see anymore? Ishikawa. 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 Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing Adam... stats at this point. <laughs> They're all blurring together. Adam Priest, 371. Damien's uh, Jungle Butter. Um, 372, Casey Cattle. Uh, 373. Peter Tehiyani. 374, Tenny Limebite. 375, Matthew Justice. 376, Sammy Callahan. 377, Aaron Hanare. 378, GJ Drake. 379, her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. 380, Red Titus. 381, Juicy Finale. Not the later. 382, Brian Johnson. That's just a that's just a Derek. Uh, th a three eighty three, Blue Demon Junior. 384, Mickey Knuckle. 385, M.V. Young. 386, Laney Luck. 387, P.J. Hawks. 388, oh, Mahabali Shira. All right. Uh, 389, Charlie Bravo. 390, Lefisto. Let's just get into rhyming at this point. Yeah. 391, Vincent. 392, Eric Ryan. 393, Tracy Williams Vikingo. How many Vikings are there? So, so, yeah, somebody screwed up the formatting. Uh, Tracy Williams, yes. 394, Sakai Akai. Sakiaki. 
Tokyo. Fukudoka. <laughs> yeah. And same to you. Uh, Daz, 395, Daz Black. Three ninety six, Brendan Cook. Three ninety seven, Luke Hawks. Three ninety eight, Trey Lamar. Three ninety nine, <laughs> Mitch Mayhem at uh, Waterman. Four hundred, Matt Taven. Huh, we're in the home stretch. Four oh one. NXT North American Champion Solo Sokoa. Uh, four oh two Ricky Morton. Holy shit! Uh, four oh three Travis Williams. Four oh four Carlos Zamora. Four oh five Mick Moretti. Four oh six Aston Star. Four oh seven Ryusuke Taguchi. 408 Tiger Mouse. 409 PB Crunchy. I mean, PB Smooth. I love his comedy. 410 Man Like Dresses. <laughs> yeah, Man Like to Reach. I don't know. Uh, but uh, you want the info? 411 Becca. Oh, one of our favorite guests. Um... Go check out the many, many times we've seen Becca. We've interviewed Becca in the archives. Um, 412, Yosunari Ogawa. Uh, 413, Arez. 414, Jit. JTG. That's not the file extension I use, but whatever. Uh, 415, Jimmy Lloyd. 416, Castro. Quatero. Yeah. That. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a Spanish lesson soon. Uh, 417, Jordan Cruz. 418, Kylie Ray. 419, Maggot. 420. The covered at 420. So tomorrow, uh, Sino. Hold on, I gotta light up. Uh, 421. <laughs> Jaden Newman. 422, Rebel Kel. She cried more, more, more. Uh, 423, Apollo! I'm not actually Denzel Cruz. 424, Thomas Dub Ovis. Thomas Dubois. <laughs> uh, 425, Storm. I'm not Stu anymore. Grayson. Is that Stu Grayson? I have no idea. There's a lot of Graysons on this uh, thing. Uh, 426, Kevin Blanchard. Tessa's uh, disowned brother. Um, 427. Uh, do jizz. I mean, do you diz. <laughs> oh, God. 428. Matt, do uh, you say Jacqueline? Close enough. St. Jacques. 429. Oh, I love this series. Akira! 430. Berlin Aki. 431. Matt Mikowski. 432. Arrowboy. Uh, 433. Isaiah Boner. Broner. 434. Jesse Gortz. Jesse Goddard, who I actually do know uh, from my time uh, in Big Brother. Uh, 435, Junior Benito. Dr uh, 436, Master Wado. 437, O'Shea. Can you see Edwards? 438, Ziggy Han. 439, 
Von Wagner's Eyebrow Ridge. 440, QT Marshall. QT Marshall. 441, Zach Patterson. 442, Sazza McKenzie. Who? Go, go back. I did. I'm pretty sure we interviewed her. No, you didn't. Oh, oh shit. She she canceled on us, didn't she? No. We've never had any interactions with Sasha McKenzie other than unanswered messages. Crap, who am I thinking of? Who cares? 443, Doug Williams. 444, Gringo Loco. Ah, the crazy white guy, just like me. Uh, 445, Daniel Maccabe. 446, Julian Ward. Uh, 447, Charlie Manson. Uh, Charles Mason. 448, Kerry Morton. 449, Super Crazy! 450, Derek Dillinger. Uh, 451, Fast Time Mudo? Let's go with that. 452, Ken Dixon. I don't know where Ken's putting it. 453, VSK. 454, The Blade. 455, J uh, Jai Vidal Sassoon. 456, uh, Leighton Buzzard. 457, Dragon Rojo Jr. 458, The Butcher. 459, Liarbird Luigi. 460, Jack Cartwheel. 461, Marcus Mathers. 462, Darius Lockhart. 463, Victor Benjamin. 464, Matt Cross. 465, Ultimo Dragon? Yeah, why not? 466. <laughs> Maverick Donovan. 467. Anthony Green. 468. J.R. Kratos. Uh, Kratos' son. Nice. Uh, the elusive 469. Hey. Francine. Uh, heavy Metal. 470. Okay. Soil Rock. You did? Yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, when did you see my wreck? Uh, 471, Aria Davari. 472, Toro Yano. 473, Kaun? <laughs> Kaun! 474, Nino Hamburger. <laughs> oh, all right, that's technically correct. The best kind of correct. Uh, four seventy-five, Tommy Vendetta. Four seventy-six, Gene Money. Four seventy-seven, Ron Hunt. Four seventy-eight, Angelo Dawkins. Four seventy-nine, Mister Grimm. Love Mister Grimm. Check out our interview with him in the archives. Four eighty, Mike Johnson. Jackson. Please <laughs> <laughs> uh, not come on twice. Uh, uh, 481, a terrible card game to play. Evil Uno. 482, Robert Mata. Robert Martyr. Martyr. Okay. 483, Aramis. 484, Microman. 485 J Bougie? Oh my god. 486 <laughs> Moses? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, why not Adam or, you know, um, I mean, we have a Jonah, uh, why not Samson? 
Uh, um, Methuselah. Uh, Goliath, David, Solomon, Isaac, Seth, Lilith. Oh my God. Do you think they were bullshitting at this point? I think uh, they've been both bullshitting since the 200s. Uh, 487, Jax Dane. 488, Aiden V. I think that's Aiden V. I don't know. I don't care. 489, uh, Isaiah Cassidy. 490, Reggie. Wow. 491, Bear Bronson. 492, Jocelyn Navarro. 493, El Hedgehogico, Sonico. 490, uh, 494, Baron Black. Oh, I loved him in 2K. Uh, 495, Big Game Leroy. 496, Miles Millennium. 497, Josh Fuller. 498, Rob Radke. Radke. 499, Stan Stiles. And one, and the last one, Mr. 500, Dustin Wilson. Well, uh, Please take us home. <laughs> can't wait until we do this next year. Oh, oh, we're 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 gonna plan this out next year. <laughs> this was both mind-numbingly annoying and fun at the same time. This was, I think, the, the most we've laughed at an episode, and it's probably one of our longest episodes ever. Yeah, and Mr. I wanted to do the whole list. Yes. Well, uh, we can't say that we haven't given our listeners uh, I, uh, the whole fucking uh, shebang. Yeah, so, I have a sore. I have a sore throat now. What are you doing? I am not. I, I, I am not kidding. Well, uh, God, oh my. Pwi five hundred. If you didn't hear us the first time. Tough shit. Go read the list. It's somewhere online. If you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, comment, put on YouTube and Castbox. Of course, this was sponsored by Rogue Energy and Fail One Coffee. Join us this Tuesday and Wednesday for uh, more interviews. Uh, Tuesday, Victor Pritchard. Uh, Wednesday, TBA. Um, and uh, follow us on... Um, Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling with E on uh, Twitter. It's all uh, who we're interviewing, when we're interviewing them, links to those interviews, and much more. Um, you can follow me at JamesJ993. Uh, you can follow Coleco at I am Coleco, and where can we find Scooter? Follow me uh, on Twitter at ScooterDust. But listen to me, James, and Ryan Dust. Hosting the remix on YouTube, a premium audio companion experience for all your alternate commentary needs for WWE Premium Live events. The next time we come to you, October 8th, Extreme Rules. And October 11th, I make my Dungeons and Dragons debut. Join me along with Rico Constantino Jr. and the rest of the Smoking Dragons clan. Twitch.tv backslash Smoking Dragons. For oh, Calico Yachts and Scooter Dust, I'm James J. And this has been Wrestling with Entertainment. Hey guys, this is Brutal Bob Evans from Hangs with Bob Seminars and TheWrestleLife.com. And you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment, one of my favorite podcasts in the whole wide world. Hey, folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. Enjoy the show. Support these guys. We appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.